what's we do? What's the first thing we do then? Smoke. Smoke's going off. Uh, smoke. Smoke downstairs and sets our alarm off. Okay, downstairs, or it sets all four off in your house. Okay, so you're going to get off. What would we do? What's the first thing we're going to do? Get out of the house. If you can get out of the house, the right answer. We get up, get all our family, we walk downstairs, we open the door, we walk outside, and we stay outside, perfect cancer. But in this situation, unfortunately, we can't. There's a lot of smoke downstairs. Do you want to see, you watch TV? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Do you want to see the adverts? For the fire? Like drowning? Not a crime watch. It's an advert. How many breaths before we're unconscious? Any ideas? we breathe in smoke? Go down one. Three, four. Two. Well, don't answer you, absolutely. Okay, two to three breaths. That's it. Smoke doesn't wake you up. You don't, when you're asleep, you don't smell smoke and go, oh, that's smoke, and get up and, and go investigate. You just keep breathing as normal. Okay, your body's not so relaxed, you just inhale it, and you soon become unconscious. So it's not going to wake you up, but you've got a nose, so that wake you up. Um, smoke's going upstairs, you wake up. Do we all live with our parents and brothers and sisters yet? Okay. Do you think we should wake them up? We might not like them, but yeah, we're still going to wake them up, okay? So yes, yeah, so we want to go and wake everybody up. More than likely, your parents will wake up, because you're going to be fast as late and get to the smoke alarm. That's not my job, it's Dad's job, okay? Dad and Mom will get up, go and investigate. The There's loads of smoke downstairs. They'll think we've got to fight straight away, okay? They're going to wake you all up. They're going to get you into a room. We want to go to the front room. So get our parents and the rest of our family into the front room. Why do we want to go to the front room? What's, what's the difference of going to the front and back? Do you think it makes any difference? No? Okay then. So no Get yourself up at quarter past four in the morning. I'd ask you if you'll be asleep here, alright? Okay, get yourself up. Quarter past four in the morning. Okay, hopefully she doesn't live next door to you if you have a fire. Okay, go to the back window, open the window and shout help. How many people did you think were going to come? No one. Well done, no one. If you open your front window at 4.20 in the morning, open your window, shout fire, help, a lot more chance that someone's going to call you out or see you. Even though it's 4.20 in the morning, people are going to work, yeah? Depends where you live as well. You've got a little bit more chance. If you go to the back as well, when we pull up, we can't always see around the back straight away. We can see you at the front, so we know you are. So never go to the back window unless the fire is obviously in the front. Has anybody been burnt before? Anybody have a fire? Miss says, yeah, okay. Anybody down there as well? Anybody else have a fire? No? Where? Right now. Excellent. <laughs> okay, is it painful? How did you do it? Burns the burner. You do it at school. Oh, so you actually put your arm over it. Okay. So someone with, if it's been a lot of personal experience, all the classes is very different. He burned himself up with his hand over a Bunsen burner. So something you use in school. But thanks for showing that, Mr. Okay. I'll move on slightly. I'll show you a video first. Very quick one. Everything that you would see on this in the fire comes from television, media, film, internet, newspaper, role models. They don't really show you on TV how fire really is and how quick it can work. So I'll show you quickly. Small bedroom made by the fire service. It's a Christmas tree in the corner. It's Christmas. Six seconds, it's now rolling across the ceiling. No smoke, escape that room yet. Smoke starting to drop, gases are building up. Smoke on the carpet, it's called polarisation. Smoke's dropping very, very quickly. Still hasn't gone through the door yet. Now it's starting to go through the door in the corner. Your smoke alarm's just gone off after 30 seconds. You've got yourself up. I'll go and have a look what it is. It's the rabbit is about to see it's on fire. You've probably just woke your parents up. Rang 909. 47 seconds. Surprised how quick that was. It's not what the show on TV, is it? Never looks like that. Everything I tell you 
it's stuff I've done myself for, it's real stuff that I know my colleagues have done. I'll show you the first one. My name is Sahel Hussain and I'm part of the CSET team. And I'm Asmi Nima and I'm part of the So it's going great. I mean, everything is going to plan as we planned out. What has been your highlight of the week so far? Um, I think the trip to SafeSide and um, Ian coming in and showing us all of those um, videos about um, burns and how it 